Hello there and a very warm welcome to another edition of the program. I'm Victor Mathias. Now, world leaders adopted the United Nations Millennium Declaration in the year 2000, which committed the nations of the world to a new global partnership aimed at reducing extreme poverty and other time-bound targets with a stated deadline of 2015. Well, that deadline has passed and another declaration was made and launched, and that's the Sustainable Millennium Goals, SDGs. And that's our focus on the program today. But let's first take a look at the social media trends in the past week. This riverine community was again attacked by suspected officials of the Lagos state government. This attack has left some dead and over 4,000 people displaced. The action was despite a standing court order by Justice S.A. Onibanjo, who ruled that demolitions and short notice without providing alternative shelter for persons evicted is against the law. A Nigerian reality TV show, Big Brother, came to an end with Ife, whose stay in the house was mostly based on logistics. Well, those were the trends and based on logistics of time, of course, let's get to the business of the day. And joining us on the program today is Joshua Alade, who joins us from Lagos, Nigeria. Thanks for coming on board. We also have Olumide Idowu, also from Lagos, Nigeria. Thanks for joining us. And Ife Dyer Ward, thanks as well for joining us today. Well, Ife Dyer, kickstart the program or kickstart the conversation for us. What is your perspective of the Sustainable Development Goals? Uh, well, after the MDG goals were uh, established and lapsed, the SDG goals were created. They are, um, they are called Sustainable Development Goals. So they are created to not only set the MDGs in full motion, but also ensure that the goals that were not met uh, are are in line and they keep developing. So the SDGs are a sort of extension of the MDGs. Okay, uh, basically for me, sustainable development goals are from the works is just for us to look at what we've done during the post 2015 agenda, which is the millennial development goal. And looking, at, looking back at the ones, the indicators that we've been able to achieve, how can we sustain them? They're now looking to, okay, fine, let's go into how we can sustain them. So that's why the uh, splitting of those MDG 8 comes up to be. 17. So they measure that. How can we measure these indicators? How can we make sure that these uh, indicators are sustainable? And how are those indicators being implemented in different countries? So sustainable development goals are a, a, a platform for us to see how we can uh, um, sustain those. So that's just the idea between the uh, behind sustainable development goals. Um, I think one thing about the SDGs is that the SDGs this time around, because we have 17 SDGs with 169 indicators, they are more robust. And it's not just about the poor countries alone. It includes both and poor nations working together to ensure a sustainable world for everyone. So this time around, for the next 14 years of our lives, whether you are in the UK, you are in Nigeria, whether you are in Australia, wherever you are, the SDG is about your future. So it, it is more inclusive, it is more robust, and it has the influence of young people participating to make sure it happens. So what are the chances of implementation? Well, uh, I'll tell you, it's a two-way thing. The chances are high and they are low at the same time. Thing is, uh, we need a lot of participation from the private sector, um, individuals, 
we need um, a lot of participation and numbers from the government too. So it is a two-way thing. If we're going to achieve a whole lot, and it is very achievable, we we'll need everyone to come together to work towards this. And as Joshua mentioned earlier, uh, we're having a lot of youth participation in the SDGs. And I think with the right people all on the team, we're going to achieve a whole lot and we'll probably achieve all the goals. So we need everyone's participation. It's not just about um, companies doing their CSR links to the SDGs or the government. You know, it, it's something we all have to work hand in hand to achieve. So everyone has a part to play. We all have our part to play in the SDGs. And what part have you been playing so far? Uh, well, I'm more interested in uh, gender equality and education. And so I, I try to propagate a lot on the evils of uh, gender imbalance or I don't want to use the word um, chauvinism in, or in the society. Uh, so uh, I do that all the time via my social media pages. I'm really active in fighting for um, women's rights and the rights of the girl child. I'm also particularly interested in health, maternal health and um, child mortality. I believe if we can ensure all girls go to school, if each person can ensure that um, in the rural communities we donate books, we ensure that um, every girl child goes to school, we'll, we'll be able to create a reasonable level of um, gender equality over the next years. Okay, so basically, um, I think one of the uh, important things that we need to know is just that I always tell people from my own end that Government have their own role to play when it comes to uh, SDGs. And for what I've been doing, uh, I've been into, I was in the process of the post-2015 agenda. I also was in the process of the new sustainable development goal. And one of the key things that I particularly look into is how we can localize the SDGs. How we can make sure that every human being understand those 169 indicators. So what I've been doing is uh, a community outreach program that is being run under my organization, Climate Wednesday. Uh, what we are doing basically is to identify issues. Uh, my project, I'm running a two, um, two projects in Shomulu and Bariga, and it's focusing on how we can uh, localize the SDG using a specific uh, area in the sense that we are looking at how we can bring all the uh, stakeholders together in the community and ask them issue that they are facing that's related to the sustainable development goals, particularly using the indicator because those are the indicators that we want to achieve. So I've been doing this for the past uh, three years now. It's a four-year project I'm working on for the past um, three years. Then we are not taking it further to make sure that uh, the, the philanthropist, the ballet, the chairman, the, uh, the good boys, I call them the good boys, uh, the artisans, we are looking at the way that all these stakeholders will be able to understand the SDGs so that they will also not wait for the government to help them to solve their problem. They can also use some community reward that people will just be hearing on air. They don't know what they will call SDGs. Only about knowing the indicators. How can we translate these indicators to have a success stories by letting people know that, yes, I've been able to meet this criteria. I have my KPI everything to make sure that every individual, both the learned people and the people that doesn't even go to school to understand. So I've been doing this for the past. It's actually a four-year project. It's the end of next year. And it's something that I want to look into to make sure that I'll be able to add my own quota to the effort of the government.